Hey programs, welcome to another shout out. It's been a while, hasn't it, brothers? Man, so much shit has happened, and I got some cool games to tell you about. But before I do, I just want to say that I don't know any of these people, never met them, uh, I'm not friends with any of them, no one asked me to do this, no one paid me to do this, and certainly no one slept with me, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> uh, obligatory self-depreciating joke. No, I do this because I figure you want to be informed and because I saw a cool project that I liked and I'm selfish, okay? Guilty. And because I think we should support good developers who seem to have some actual fucking talent, unlike some people. So let's get on with it. First I want to tell you about Black the Fall. This is already funded, so no worries. It's a side-scrolling uh, platform with stealth elements and it's being done by a team called Sand Sailor Studio. They're from Romania and they said their main inspiration was growing up under a communist regime. So that's the story of the game. It's about this oppressive dictatorship and your guy is like trying to outsmart them. Uh, it's got this really cool uh, black and white cell shaded style, very noir and it's uh, they reached. It's gonna have like this puzzle element where you control machines. There's a YouTube video on that, and they reached their first stretch goal, which means we're gonna have a little robot buddy to help us out. Ah, oh, that'll add some levity to this dark, depressing game about communism. Uh, in any case, you should check them out. Uh, links are down below. Follow them. Uh, the game is also on Steam Early Access and there's a lot of shit on Steam, especially Early Access, but this, I've seen Let's Plays, it looks like the demo is functional. So stay tuned for the release and check them out, follow. Next is a game called Nevermind. It's a psychological survival horror game in first person where it, you get, it uh, uses one of those uh, heart rate monitor bands that you can get really cheap and you hook it up to your computer and it reads your heart rate and not only does it read your heart rate it has uh, knowledge of specific levels and different types of heart beat and it changes your experience according to how scared you are so if you're calm everything is like nice but if you get scared like suddenly it transforms sort of like the silent hill other world taking over but you can control it by maintaining calm if you get really scared it becomes all nightmarish and the, on the Kickstarter page, they said that the, this has therapeutic applications, you know, for people learning to control their fears and stuff, which sounded really cool. And this is also already funded. It got funded at the 11th hour because the fans were retweeting and sharing like crazy. We almost thought it wasn't going to make it. Uh, but stay tuned for that. There's already a prototype. Uh, I've seen YouTube Let's Plays uh, of it, and it seems to work. And... Uh, the person in charge of this is called Erin Reynolds. Now I don't know if her or any person in her team has any background or medical training, uh, but they did say therapeutic applications. Maybe they're working with a company or something. Um, and people on Twitter were saying, support this woman in video games. And I was like, yes, let's support talented people who seem to know what the fuck they're doing, regardless of their gender. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, which brings me finally to the Black Club. This is being done by some of the designers from Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite, including the writer and some of the designers, minus Ken Levine. These are guys that were working under Ken Levine back at Irrational Games and he isn't on this but he appeared in a YouTube video giving his blessing. That's kind of cool that these guys were working. These are the people that were di being directed by him and now they're doing their own thing but with his blessing. And if you liked the, the weirdness of Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite, that aspect, then you'll love this because oh my god it's so cool it's set in like this museum where a bunch of artists are showing off their art and you have this like quantum physics super sciencey black glove that can reach into people's past and change their inspiration and then you come back back to the future and you <laughs> their art has changed so a chick might be using a different medium to show off her whatever or there's a dude who sings and he might go from a blues singer to a jazz singer 
Uh, there's a dude making movies, and his movies all change. Uh, you change their inspiration. And there's also a mini game. I don't know how it ties into the story, but it's a cool retro mini game that you play like one of those cool old style uh, arcades called The Maze of the Space Minotaur. It's <laughs> really cool. So, I don't know. Are, there's people saying this is a hard sell. Others are saying, I don't know, maybe if it had more shooting. I'm like, yeah, great. W wasn't that one of the original complaints of Bioshock Infinite that it had too much violence? Now they want more violence? <laughs> and, and like, this is so such a cool game about inspiration and art and these things and these people's suggestion is needs more guns, more violence, more tits, more ex yeah, more tits and explosions. Dumbasses. And I don't know, I showed this to a friend and he said, yeah, it's awesome, but I'm not sure I even understand it. And I was like, what's there to not, uh, not get? It, you use the super science glove to reach into people's past and change their inspiration, what? So, I, I don't know, this, this, and it's being done in that classic Bioshock st retro style with uh, sort of a cartoony faces. Uh, it, anyways, check it out and don't forget to follow them, show your support regardless. And after their first attempt on Kickstarter, they said they're exploring all possibilities and they're gonna keep trying to get this made. Oh, and they've also asked people to tweet the hashtag Save the Black Glove, maybe that, that'll help. So that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time. And I've got more stuff coming. I'm working on other stuff. So I'll see you. End of line, man. Bye.